All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glorification to the Most High God, Yahweh by Shema Mashiach, Malak Yahweh Shah. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shah is the name of his beloved Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, whom is the Savior of the nation of Israel. It's Brother Malachi out of the WFI Detroit camp, coming at you with another edifying lesson and cold cut through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And again, this is endtimeheadlines.org. Pulling up this article, which was published on October 19, 2021, which is today. And it reads, America is slow, slowly spiraling into a complete lawless nation as the love of many is waxing cold. Now, the scripture states that the love of many shall wax cold in the last days. Get that in Matthew, the 24th chapter. And again, we're going to keep touching on the prophecies because those are the times that we live in. There. We're going to daily watch at the doors. Let's get Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Now, what is iniquity? Iniquity represents sin. So sin is arising on the earth, right? Everywhere you look up, you have sin, whether it be homosexuality, adultery, pedophilia, bestiality, freedom of religion. You know, people becoming more presumptuous in their sins, becoming more blasphemous and proud. As the scriptures say in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1, let's bring that out. So sin is increasing on the earth. So you got the love of many waxing cold. Man, the people don't give a damn about each other no more. I used to can go to you. I used to know your neighbors. You used to knock on your neighbor door, ask for some sugar, right? But now it's not like that. Now you walk out the door, your neighbor mugging you, right? They hurry up and lock in their door when they see you coming, right? So the love of many is waxing cold. Why? Because as the scriptures state, you have to measure the times in Second Edges chapter nine and verse one. And we living in the fourth seal, as it states in Revelation, the sixth chapter. So you got more death reigning upon the earth, more spirits, more principalities out here, plaguing the men and vexing men. That's why you got murder at a rapid rate. Gun violence is going up. Rape. Robbery, thievery, scamming. It's just we living in a lawless society. Right. I did a video a couple days ago where, um. There was also an end time headlines.org where you have the police not picking up 911 calls no more. Or they, they're taking um an extended time to pick up the call. Right? So what you gonna do when it's complete lawlessness, complete anarchy and mayhem in the streets of America? You can't pick up the phone and call 911. So the scriptures say the love of many is waxing cold. And iniquity is abounding on the earth. So let's get 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Now that word perilous means dangerous or risky. So you have dangerous, risky, full of perilous. So we're full of peril rather. Times is coming on this wicked earth. Read on. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. And that's what you have. You have covetous men, boasters, proud. You had the rapper Lord Boosie basically said, after Lord, he going to eat his pork. So that's that's blasphemy. So you got blasphemous on the earth. You got people that's disobedient to parents, cussing out their parents. And these people that do this, they get 15 minutes of fame, right? They become uh, the topic of discussion, and they exalt these people on a high level when these people are nothing but reprobate people. Scriptures say, with the, uh, uh, you know, let's get it in the Psalm chapter 12, verse 8. I don't want to misquote it. So these are the spirits that's out here on this earth. And that's why America have to be destroyed. That's why Babylon got to get put down because there's so much wickedness. Scriptures say the sins of Babylon have reached up onto the heavens. In the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4 and down. And it reads, Psalm chapter 12, verse 8. 
the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. They exalt the vilest men. They exalt men that put on dresses. They exalt transsexuals, right? They exalt thugs and thieves. But when it comes to the men of the Lord and righteousness and ultimately the heavenly father, they don't exalt the most high. They exalt themselves. They exalt their lust. They exalt their sin. And they also exalt men that walk contrary to the scriptures. So the scriptures say the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Let's go back to the article. It reads, this is what can happen when you allow the inmates to run the asylum. The crazies are in charge now, and this has resulted in utter chaos all over the country. From the very top to the very bottom, we are rapidly becoming a completely lawless nation. Just look at Joe Biden. He was just caught on video blatantly breaking D.C.'s very strict mask mandate when White House Press Secretary Jen Pesketsky was asked about this. She told the press to not overly focus on moments in time. What does that even mean? Apparently, we aren't supposed to care when Biden breaks the law. And for the record, that has been open on numerous occasions in recent months. But I suppose that it is appropriate that we have a lawless president because our entire nation is now descending into lawlessness. Just consider what we just witnessed in Portland. Dozens of anarchists roam through the streets of Portland, destroying everything in sight. And the police just stood by and watched them do it. At least 100 self-proclaimed anarchists tore through Portland, setting dumpsters aflame, smashing windows and causing 500,000 in damage. That's a half a million. That's a lot of damage. So these people aren't regarding their kings nor princes. As it states in the scriptures, we're going to pull that. But it reads thus. But police stood idle because of a new state law that restricts how law enforcement can respond to riots. It is a moment like this that I really do feel like I am living in crazy town. Let's get the precepts. So all these all these things that's taking place is thus said the Lord. And we're going to bring it out. Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. Let's go to Second Ezra, chapter 15, in verse 15. It reads thus, For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Now, swords simply represents weaponry, whether it be a gun, Molotov cocktails, pepper spray. Read on. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So what is that saying? That's saying that it will be a lawless society. Men are not going to regard the higher authorities. They're not going to regard the police officials and the sheriff department and the FBI, the CIA, whatever form of authority there is here in Babylon. These men are not going to regard it. Let's go back to the article. And that's the gist of the article. That's what the that's what this article is going into. Second address chapter 15, verse 15 and 16. It reads a new law that was recently passed prohibits police in Portland from using normal crowd control tech techniques. And so they must stand down and allow rioters to do whatever they want. Now, police say a recently passed law ties their hands even further as it prohibits police from using crowd control techniques like pepper spray or tear gas. So pretty much the police don't have any authority. The authority and the course of their action is standing in the power of the citizens and the people of the land. So this is biblical prophecy coming to pass. Right. So we don't have to read it all again. Endtimeheadlines.org. These are the things that's happening. 
Let's get Mark chapter 13 and verse 3. So I'll get 33. Mark chapter 13, verse 33. It say, Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. So it's important for us as Israelites to watch the prophecies and also pray and beg the Most High for mercy and forgiveness in these last days. Because we all going to need the mercy of the Most High. Right? When they get se severely perilous out here, dangerous times, when you can't go to the store because the, uh, the, the storehouses are empty and it's a famine and food shortages, which it already is, but it's going to intensify. When these things begin to come to pass, you're going to need the mercy and the, and the grace from the Heavenly Father. So right now you must seek the Lord while he may be found. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20 on down. Seek the Lord while he is near. Reading on. For the Son of Man is a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants. Now we are the servants. We are the servants because we serve in the Lord by going out there on them highways and byways, teaching Israel their nationality. And I'd also, you know, not just going on the highways and byways, but keeping the commandments, fulfilling, fulfilling our uh, a role in our office within the ministry, whether it be counseling, teaching, being a helper. We are all servants to the Lord, whether it be sharing the videos on social media. This is all a form of work. And servitude in the last days when it comes to the ministry of the Most High. So the Lord gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the potter to watch. Now we have to watch. Now we have to watch the prophecies. We have to watch the news. We have to see what's going on around us. We can't be negligent or not knowing, ignorant of what's happening around us. Verse 35, watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning. So the Lord could come back at any given time. And this is why it's important for us to watch and to keep our garments clean as it states in Revelation 16 and 15. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 8. Job chapter 29 and verse 14. Genesis chapter 35 and verse 2. These are all precepts on having a clean garment. Meaning the clean spirit, putting on the knowledge, keeping the commandments, staying focused in these last days. When you fall short, getting back up, dusting yourself off. And enduring as well, as it states in Matthew 24 and 13 and 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 10. Endurance is key in this truth. Verse 36, let's come and suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Now, you don't want to be found sleeping. What does it mean to be found sleeping? It means to be found in sin. Not blameless in the sight of the Lord. Still within your iniquity. So, it's important for us as Israelites to cast off our wicked works. Whatever sin and spirit you're dealing with, it's important for you to cast it off. Bring it to the Heavenly Father and fight in His truth, man. This truth ain't just a cakewalk. You got to fight. And I'm speaking to myself as well. Nobody is exempt. We all got to fight. Let's get um, 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12. It reads thus, Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. So we got to fight the good fight of faith. Right. Hey, man, Satan might be beating you down right now and hey, you got to fight back. Don't just let Satan beat you down, put you in a headlock, strangle the hell out of you. Now you can't breathe. Now you're now your back jammed up and Satan busted up your ribs, stomped on your face. You can't let Satan get that one up on you. You got to fight back. You got to put it together. You got to be tactical in these last days. How do you be tactical? Reading the scriptures, studying fasting praying and when you do slip up you got to have that means of endurance don't let your sins weigh you down don't let your iniquities lift up themselves as it states in second edges chapter 16 verses 76 on down so again have faith keep enduring israel don't give up man so with that i'm gonna give all praise to you how about you i was shy
Watch these prophecies. Shalom.